Welcome to Flow with Georgina. If you're new here, hi, I'm Georgina, and this is a series called Scolio Love. <laughs> I have scoliosis and I have corrected my spine through the years of consistent practice. This flow is perfect for every day, but of course, you want to listen to your body. If you're sore the next day, then you want to rest and do it again maybe the next next day or at least once a week. There's no assurance when you can get your back straight, but I know with consistent practice, it will only get better and better. In this class, we're not gonna be standing. Everything is gonna be on a low position. So when you're ready, grab your mat and let's begin. All right, starting in Sukhasana or the easy pose, cross-legged seated position, we're just gonna maybe wiggle our body first, feeling our butt cheeks. <laughs> okay. Right hand will drop down on the mat. Your left hand will reach up, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna bend to the right. Gently, making sure you're not puffing out your chest. This is not back bend, strong core, tuck in your rib cage. Good job. Stretch your side body. Really reach to the right side here. Whew. With each exhalation, you could get deeper and deeper. Good job. Come back to center. Inhale. Reach your right hand up. Tuck in your rib cage. Exhale. Bend to the left side. Being gentle with each exhale, getting deeper. Strong core, just feeling this on your side body. Making sure your sitting bones are still grounded, right? Just really reach left here, reach, reach, reach. And come back to center. Good job. Now you're gonna sweep your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, and your index finger is pointing out. I'm just gonna show you my back. And you're gonna back bend here, so arch your back. This is the time to bend your back. Look up. You can have your index finger now touching the mat. Just breathing here normally. Puffing out the chest, heart is open here. Feeling this beautiful back bend. Now come back to center. Release the bind, interlace your fingers in front of you, and then you're gonna flip your hands now facing forward. And you're gonna straighten your elbows, and you're gonna reach up, reach up, sitting bones are grounded, and you're just really feeling this in your shoulders and shoulder blades. Notice how now my shoulders are close to my ears, right? You're just staying here, really stretching, working on our scapula. Just breathing normally. Inhale, on your next exhalation, you're gonna rest your shoulders down, but still hands up. So just like this kind of O shape with your arms, right? And then reach up, inhale. Tuck in your rib cage, exhale, release. Drop it down, but not the hands. Last one, inhale. Tuck in the rib cage, core is strong, and hold your breath for four, Three, two, one. Exhale all the way down. Shake your hands. Good job. Now inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, fold down, making sure your sitting bones again still grounded. You're just gonna reach forward. You're stretching your upper body here. Breathing normally. All right, now come back up and we're gonna transition to our all fours position or tabletop. So your wrists are just in line with your shoulders and your knees are in line with your hips. Okay, find your stable um, tabletop here. We're gonna start with a gentle cat cow. So <laughs> you're gonna drop your belly here, letting your chest melt down, right? Just, you know, having that gravity do its work. 
And then your tailbone is really pointing up. We're just doing this slowly, feeling our bodies and really feel each vertebra move, right? And now you're going to inhale as you look up. Puff out your chest here. Drop the belly. Exhale. Tuck your chin to your clavicle. Round your back. Now your tailbone here is really tucking in, right? And you can just breathe here normally. You're just holding this position, really pushing yourself away from the mat. You're protracting your shoulder blades, feeling each vertebra here, right? And then again, drop your belly down. Look up, inhale. This is our cow pose. And then back to cat tilt, round your back, exhale. Cow tilt, inhale. And exhale to cat tilt. Tuck your tailbone, chin to clavicle, round your back. All right, now back to neutral position this time. Reach your right hand up and forward as your left leg extends back. So stick it out so we're not going to lift it high. Just try to see how straight you could get here with one horizontal line from your fingertips down to your heel. Flex the back toe here. We're just holding this position. And then engage your core, strong core, and feel this energy line from the fingertips to your heel. One straight line. Breathe in and out. Right now, drop it down. We're going to do it again on the other side. So left palm is up and right leg up. Flex the back toe. One straight line holding this position. Strong core. Engage it. Staying with the breath. All right. Drop it down. Doing it again. Right hand up. Left leg up, flex the back toe. Stretch, reach, reach forward here and the other leg pulling back. One strong line, energy from the core. Drop it down and last one. Left hand up, right leg up, flex the back toe and one straight line here. Core is engaged, tighten your core. Drop it down. Now this time, you're going to reach your hand up again. Right hand up, left leg up. Point the toe this time. And then you're, as you send your right hand to your right, you're moving your left leg to the left. And then back to center. Drop it down. And then other side. Left hand up, right leg up. Left hand goes to the left. Right leg goes to the right. And then back to center. Drop it down. Point the toes this time. Right hand up, left leg up. To the right and to the left, back to center and drop it down. Other side again, left hand up, right leg up, left hand and right leg here. Back to center, drop it down. We're going to do that again. Straight and then side, straight and then down. Other side, straight and then sides. Straight forward and then down. Last set here. Point the toes. Really working on the glutes here too. So your gluteus muscles are engaged. As you move, you're letting your glute muscles work here. And drop it down. <laughs> Good job. Now you're just going to uh, draw one big circle with your hips. Starting with clockwise position. Or clockwise rotation rather. Big circle. You can even drop one forearm down and lift it up as you rotate to really get that circle big. <laughs> All right, now reverse the rotation. Counterclockwise this time. And forearms can drop. And the other one's up. And then repeat. Really just feeling this. Whew. One vertebra at a time that it moves, being gentle, feeling your body. We're creating space here. Whew. Nice. 
and come back down and you're gonna have your hands forward here as you drop your belly on the mat slowly good job mm -hmm. now you're gonna sweep your hands behind you interlace your fingers index finger is pointing out again now you're gonna straighten your elbows as you lift your hands up your bum and then retract your shoulder blades as you lift your chest up look forward here we're holding for five four three two and one drop it down head on the mat if you like we're just resting for a little bit one full breath cycle here inhale and exhale inhale again as you lift up for four three two one exhale drop it down all right again inhale as you lift up and hold your breath here for four three two one exhale drop it down hold your breath here for four three two one inhale lift up for four and hold your breath again for four holding this position exhale for four drop it down and hold your breath again for four and release the breath you're just going to come to your sphinx pose hands in front of you here you can measure the distance of your elbow by grabbing both of your elbows with your hands and then hands forward so we're just going to rest in sphinx pose as we create space in our spine here so imagine each vertebra stacked right you're elongating the spine pulling it up and then bending your back here making sure that your shoulders are not like this <laughs> so not tense right you want to keep your shoulders away from the ears lengthen your neck look forward here so this is not a relaxing pose actually you're still engaging your muscles here now we're going to engage or squeeze your glutes squeezing your butt cheeks together for five four squeeze three two and one release the squeeze just relax your glutes now good job now again sweeping your hands behind you doing that again locust pose lift it up your chest now this time you're gonna lift your legs up as high as you can for a full locust pose we're holding this for five four three two one and drop it down we're gonna rest for a little bit breathing in here and again up your chest and legs holding it for five four strong back three really strong glutes two and one you're gonna have your hands down on the mat push back to vajrasana just sit on your heels hands will now place or grabbing your heels here and then you're gonna lift your he hips up as your crown of your head touches the mat as close to your knees as you can and you're gonna straighten your elbows lift your hips up and you're doing this rabbit pose to counteract that back bend now the sensation is really important for you to observe right like which is tight what side you have to be able to distinguish what side is harder for you or more painful because there's always going to be that one side because of our scoliosis right so this is a great cervical spine stretch we're just breathing in here really rounding the back and then sit up coming to vajrasana or thunderbolt pose again all right now you can have your feet here splaying out if you like it more this way wherein you're sitting on the mat so find what works best in your thunderbolt or vajrasana okay placing your hands to our side bend your elbows palms is facing forward here now you're going to drop the palms down and your elbows are still in line with each other here so one straight line with your elbows and then bring it up and then you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades as you drop your elbows behind you here so not in line with your torso but behind you at the back 
So really feeling the shoulder blades squeeze here, right? Retracting the shoulder blades. Now come back up, palms down, palms up, and then squeeze. Again, up, down, up, and squeeze the shoulder blades. Whew. Up, down, palms up, and then squeeze again. Squeeze, 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 and come back up, palms down, palms up, and for the last time, we're gonna squeeze your elbows here. Whew. And relax. Shake your hands. Right hand now will reach up as you cross it on top of your left hand. So you're gonna stack the eye of your elbows here on top of each other, palms are facing up. Now you're gonna intertwine your forearms as your palms come to touch. Now, if you can't touch it, that's fine. Of course, if you're here, you're just gonna try your very best to be able to touch it, okay? We're just gonna lift up and down. So making sure that you're just moving your shoulders and your hands, your arms, and not your torso. So you're not puffing out your chest, keeping your torso straight and strong core. Rib cage is tucking in. We're just lifting this up and down. And I know, feel this, because one side is gonna be harder and more painful or kind of uneasy. And it might be normal for you that your bones are kind of touching or rubbing together. I had that incident for me. But it will get better <laughs> as you just practice more often. All right, now release the bind and you're gonna shake it up. Now this time left hand or left arm will be stacked on top of the right eye of your elbow, intertwining our forearms, palms to touch. And same thing, lift it up and down. Up, you're just breathing normally here. You can breathe, inhale up, exhale down. Tuck in your rib cage. We're just doing this normally. Inhale up, exhale down, up and down. All right, now release the bind. You're gonna shake again your hands. Whoo. <laughs> now you're gonna crawl your fingertips in front of you. And again, coming down to Sphinx pose, dropping the belly on the mat. We're gonna rest and squeeze the glutes for five. Four, three, two, one. Release the glutes, good job. All right, now this time, we're gonna rest on our backs. I'm just gonna face the other side here. Okay, we're just gonna lay on our backs. Now you're gonna bend your knees here and open it as wide as you can and lift your feet up. See if you could grab the outside of your feet with your hands or the inside or maybe your ankles. Wherever you are, this is our happy baby pose. We're just gonna rock it left and right. I like to grab my heels. So really visualizing that your spine is flattening here right? Because it's going to be different for everyone. Your left or right side of your lumbar or your upper body or upper back might be up and it's not touching the mat, right? Mine is like that, so I know how you feel. <laughs> it kind of sucks, but doing this, it's going to help so much. One of my favorite ways to massage the spine. So just rocking it left and right. All right, dropping it down. Now we're gonna do bridge pose. This is such a great way to strengthen your spine. So you can measure the distance of your feet. Feet are hip distance apart or a little bit wider is fine. And then you can have your fingertips touch your heels here. A little bit apart is fine, but you don't want it too far, right? You want it a little closer here to your fingertips. Now I like to have my fists close and bend elbows. This makes it really strong. And then you're gonna lift your hips up, making sure you're not puffing out your chest. You're gonna send it in, tucking it in. Strong core here and squeeze the glutes for 10. Squeeze the glutes. You're still breathing normally here. Squeezing and my core is so strong. And drop it down. One more time for 10. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. The glutes is so important when you have scoliosis. We don't typically 
think about this, but it is very important. You'll know someday you will thank me. <laughs> All right, and now this time we're just gonna pump it up for 10. So pump it up, 10, squeeze the glutes, and drop it down as you release the glutes. Nine, relax. Eight, squeeze, relax. Seven, six, squeeze, relax. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now drop it all the way down. Now straighten your legs and your hands can be placed to your sides. You're gonna lift that right leg up and you're gonna try to see how close you could bring it to your torso as possible, kind of just folding it. it. Doesn't have to touch, no forcing, just stretching our legs here too. Right? And you want to give some love with your legs, massaging it. Dropping it down, doing it on the other side. So left leg lifts up. And then massage. Loosening it up. Being gentle and drop it down. All right, so this time you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna lift it up, your legs, and now you're gonna have your fists closed and your head will come up. This might be a little difficult for some depending on your curvature, but we're gonna try it, okay? You're gonna drop your feet and legs down slowly with control, keeping your lumbar flat on the mat, really press your lumbar. If you need to go up higher with your head, that's fine. And then when you feel that your back is already arching here or you're lifting from the mat, come back here and then bring it up again and then slowly lower down. And it's normal for you to shake and then bring it in, straighten it up and lower it down. You can even hold here, lumbar pressing on the mat, hold, Hold and bring it in. Up. You can, of course, rest your head on the mat if it's a little bit more intense for you. And then bring it in. We're just doing this repeatedly. This is so good, again, for our backs. <laughs> and the legs, so many actions here. All right, last one. Your core is going to be on fire here maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Who release. <laughs> and we can rest in Shavasana. Hands by your sides, palms facing up. Open your feet wide as your mat. Breathing here, feeling your back, of course you can continue resting, I'm just going to end this video. If you ever feel that one side was harder, which is going to be so common in scoliosis, well, there's always going to be one side that is harder. With each uh, flow or practice, you want to do that hard side twice, then the other side. That's how I did and how I've corrected my spine, and I know it is very effective. So you want to really engage the muscles on that side that you need to be working on, or you maybe you need to stretch that side even more. So it depends. You want to feel the balance of you know stretching and strengthening the muscles. All right, <laughs> I hope you had fun. I hope you feel a lot better. Please let me know how you feel in the comment section below. I would love to help you and I would love to make more of these amazing flows that have helped me and I wanna share it with you. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you get notified when there is a new Scolio Love. I'll see you on the next class. Bye. Oh. No, that's wrong. <laughs>